<laughs> well, straight ahead, Bert's brightest moments. <laughs> now we start. OK, you know what to say, don't you? <laughs> Oh, it's the stuff of legend, isn't it? We are honouring the life and laughs of the man Australia knew and loved as Moonface. This is a special edition of Weekend Today. We're back with more in just a moment. What would I do without you? Without me, Gary? Bertie. Without you, I'm nothing. Without you, I'm nowhere. Without you, my life is stormy. That old pal, I've got no doubt. Without you here fighting for me, they're gonna count me out. Welcome back to this special edition of Weekend Today as we salute Mr. TV Moonface, Bert Newton, who's passed away at the age of 83. It really is the end of an era, the golden age of television in this country. Yeah, he was the face of television, wasn't sure he? Was. And we have heard this morning from those who loved him most and knew him best, his friends and colleagues who learned from the master and two entertainers who Bert helped along the way. Longtime Good Morning Australia contributor Susie Elliman and our very own David Campbell, who both join us this morning. Thank you for your time, guys. Susie, morning, first guys. to you. Hi. You worked with Bert for years. What was he like? Oh, I sure did. I got to work with Bert for, across two networks, uh, telling up almost 10 years. And that man had has no peers. The most generous performer. If he set you up for a joke, he always let you down with a golden parachute. He always <laughs> took the fall. He was an extraordinary performer, the most incredible mind. And, uh, and I can honestly say I call him a friend. He wrote the foreword to my first two books and anything you asked of him, whether it was on camera or off camera, he did everything he could. He was so supportive to everybody in the industry and not just people on camera, people behind the scenes as well. Yeah, well said, Susie. Um, David, uh, Bert supported uh, your career. A, a lot of young people, you know, are today remembering how Bert just gave them a helping hand, some words of encouragement. When you were a, a young singer, he was, he was there for you, right? It really was. I mean, when you're starting out as a young singer, one of the highlights of your career was to get onto GMA and to be you know, anointed by Bert to, to sing on that show. And it was terrifying because it was live. There was very few pre-records unless Bert was doing a theatre show at the time. And it was just like, you know, you were being anointed by God. I mean, I, I think I compared him to when, you know, the comedians in America say, you know, sometimes Carson would wave you over to the couch and that meant that you were a made man in show business. Yeah. It was the same with GMA. You'd start out as a singer, he'd introduce you, he'd cut to a commercial break, and if you were lucky, he'd, he'd come over to the piano the next time with John Foreman and he'd talk to you after the song. That was a big deal. And then if you got really, really lucky, you'd get to go sit in the seat, the first guest which was like hallowed ground <laughs> and Bert would sit there and he would welcome you. And as a young, I mean, I learned so much things that I'm still doing today on this network, either on weekends or, you know, today extra, you know, I'm still learning and doing what Bert taught me. Great. We're learning a lot of uh, new quirks uh, in his passing. Susie, uh, we're hearing that he talked in his sleep. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, both Bert and Patty told me this. Apparently, one morning she said to Bert, do you realise you're talking in your sleep? He said, what do you mean? He said, you were calling out for Susie. Ooh. And he was absolutely shocked. But don't worry, there was nothing <laughs> romantic about it because there was only ever Patty for Bert. Um, what he was saying in his sleep, because he'd done it so often, was... And now, here's Susie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maybe he was interviewing you in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, he was... Uh, look, he was a master of television, but also radio and theatre, much like your good self. I mean, he really... His, his, his talents knew no bounds, did they? He put in the hard work, but he was also so spontaneous as well. He really was. He was a master at that. And I think that all those years with, you know, with Graham and with Donna, as I call him, you know... They're like the, the holy trinity of Australian TV, those three men. You know, they right. really were. They built the foundations of what we watch today and how we perform today. Everyone from... I see it in Carl, I see it in you, Dickie, all those things that we learned from those guys. But he also did so much more. He supported people behind the scenes, as Susie said. I've got fans of mine, you know, the last, you know, part of his career 
was really done on the stage. He taught in musicals with John Frost right around the country. He was with Wicked with Lucy Durack. He was in Rocky Horror for many, many years. And those cast, those young people in the cast, he wasn't, a, he wasn't just the start of them. He didn't... Yeah. Those people were, were, t were touched by him having the pleasure of working with him. And Susie... Oh, we've lost both of them. I wanted to uh, ask Susie about the, the beautiful bond. It wasn't ever just Bert. It was always Bert and Patty. Yeah. Oh, Susie. Oh, Susie's there. <laughs> I, I, was, I just wanted to ask you oh, about their, their wonderful love story, Bert and oh, Patty. Just extraordinary love story. But the professionalism when they worked together and you could see uh, how much they adored each other. Uh, mm. I got to spend some time socially with them as well. And it was true love from the very beginning, <laughs> both romantically and professionally as well. Uh, they were just, the family, so gorgeous. Yeah. Lauren and Matthew as well, are a close, beautiful family. And now six grandchildren that Patty can, can see and live and enjoy birth with. Uh, continuing on. And just finally, David, uh, the Prime Minister touched on it in his lovely words today. It was a it was a different time. There was no streaming services there or Foxtel where you could rewind and stuff. It was a, a collective energy, wasn't it, when the nation used to sit down and watch Graham and Don and Bert. It was, it, it was just all-encompassing, wasn't it? It was, and it's a time that will never come again. I think that family's a big part of that. He was our family. He was invited into our homes on a regular basis and it was an appointment viewing when Bert was on, no matter what the show. And he also allowed us, and it was quite an extraordinary thing, to see his family. Matt and Lauren at such a young age. Yep. He was always very open about that. That's something that was not really done before before then. Graham was notoriously private. So Bert really allowed us to say, hey, I'm one of you. And he broke through the barriers of that. And that's, that's right. why his tributes are flowing today from everyone across this nation. You two will understand it when we say we've got to go. Thanks for being on the show this morning. <laughs> Thanks, and a reminder, guys. tonight, Nine will air a Bert Newton tribute special, Let Me Entertain You. It's coming up after the block tonight. Stay with us. We're back with more in just a moment.